Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Queen Talks of Tea. Before I start, I want you to subscribe to my channel, Queen Talks of Tea, like my video, share, 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 share to people. Don't be selfish, don't let alone. So today I'll be talking about aloe vera. Ooh, aloe vera. Let me show you my aloe vera there. Mm. Yeah. I'll be talking about the aloe vera today. It's one of the miracle plants that has been ages. It's one of the plants that can be used internally or externally. Is used for curing variety of herbs, elements. Look at that. I love my aloe. It's so beautiful. 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 It boosts immune system, better skin health. Today, I'll be talking about spiritually and what it, what aloe vera does for us in our skin so stay tuned and let's get it started yes spiritually and it's also good for the skin so spiritually today i'll be talking about what aloe vera does spiritually let me put you to my aloe vera. Aloe vera is well known for its healing properties. And some of sauces also go for spells. We also use aloe vera for spells, which brings peace of mind, relieve loneliness. Growing aloe vera in a pot at home brings peace of mind brings healing brings positive energy protection aloe has been very very useful i use it at home like to tell you about about my skin today few few months ago i went on a vacation and um i think i don't know what happened to my skin then maybe it was because of change of environment or something something like that i got back had some spots on my face and some little sunburn because I went down to Africa, yeah. So I've tried a lot of stuff, I've, you know. So someone said, "Why not use aloe vera on your face?" So I said, "Really?" So I decided to get one three weeks ago, and ever since I've been using aloe, it's been good. It's been great on my skin. How do I do this? Look at that. You can see that. I sliced, what I do, I sliced one part. One part. And what I did, I took it, I squeezed out the gel. Before I started using it, I washed my face. I started in the morning, I washed my face and then, because you need to put it on a clean face, a clean skin, because if you don't, that means you're going to get all sorts of bacteria again. So you need to wash your face, which I did. So after washing my face, I took out the gel and you know what, I did, I did it as a paste on my face. So I've been doing that, I've been trying that in the morning and in the evening. 
last thing at night and first thing in the morning. You can do this anytime, but because I go to work. So once I get up in the morning, the first thing I do that. It's been very, very good on my skin. No regrets. A lot of people have been asking me, what have you been using on your face? What have you been using on your skin? I've been using aloe on my face and on my neck. And ever since, my spots have disappeared. So why not try it? It's very good for the skin. Spiritual wise, it's good. Health wise, it's good. So, I'm telling you today, you need to try it. You need to try it. Aloe is very, very good on the skin. So make sure you get one, get a pot of it, like the way I get, I got mine, and then why not start? You will never regret it. Spiritual wise, Halo drives away evil. Halo drives away negativities. Halo gives you peace of mind. You know how to try this. When you get a slice, you can place it under a green candle. If you want to use it for like, um, for good luck, I've tried that and it's worked for me. You slice a bit, put it under your candle, put it on the, um, put it on a plate and then place your green candle on it, right? And then burn your green candle. This gives good luck. So I want you to try it and then you will never fail. Sussex will be yours and mine. Thanks for watching me. Subscribe to my channel, Queen Toxicity, and like and put down the comments. Thank you. Love you.